The process of developing the KF-21 Boramae fighter aircraft domestically produced in South Korea continues rapidly. A total of six KF-21 prototypes have been produced to date. Kai carried out pilot evaluation or PVI and indoor and outdoor ground lighting testing on prototype KF-21 No. 3 at its engine test building for four weeks from the 1st to the 26th of last month, Korean Aerospace Industries said in a statement. In the PVI cockpit test, evaluation of the interface between pilot and components of suitability and consistency of placement and operation, etc., ground release procedures, and launch clearance tests are also carried out. In addition, Lighting measurements and pilot evaluations are carried out to determine whether interior and exterior cockpit lighting is suitable for aircraft operation through lighting tests. A total of seven fighter jet pilots from the Korean Air Force participated in the test. The pilot evaluation insights from these ground trials will be reviewed and discussed to create a more optimal shape for the KF-21 cockpit. In addition, it was also noted that the ejection seat was tested with prototype number 3. It is also noted that a total of 9 test launches have been carried out so far. The KF-21 ejection seat was jointly developed with the American company Martin Baker. The KF-21 is expected to make its first test flight in July this year. The first flight test of the 4.5-generation fighter, the KF-21, is scheduled for 2022. The flight and ground tests of the KF-X are expected to be completed around 2026. The target of the $5.2 billion KF-21 project with air-air-to-air -air combat capability gains air-to-air -air capability in the first stage to be achieved by 2026, and the achievement of air-to-ground combat capability in the second stage, targeted for completion by 2028. In addition, South Korea's locality rate on the KF-21 is stated at 65%. The aircraft is expected to fly at a maximum speed of Mach 1.81, a range of 2,900 km and a maximum payload of 7,700 kg. The fighter will contain 10 stations for missiles and fuel tanks. It will also be capable of carrying various air-to-air -air missiles such as the KF-21, Iris-T and Meteor. 